Welcome to the show today. And on the show, I want to talk about the fact that I'm going on a Christmas cruise this year in December 2023, and I'm so excited. I want to show you the outfits that I picked out. It's a five-day carnival cruise. So because it's a carnival cruise, I picked this shirt. My daughter bought it for me, but I wanted this shirt, and she got it for me for Mother's Day. And I love the shirt. And it's comfortable and casual. And the cat in the hat. This is my outfit to go travel to the port where the cruise ship is. It's comfortable. It's casual. It's a carnival cruise theme. They use Dr. Seuss characters. So the cat in the hat is perfect for a five-day carnival cruise over Christmas. A Christmas cruise. It'll be so much fun. The tree will be up. We're going to have a great time on a carnival cruise. I wore just capri leggings and flip-flops for the first day I'm going to wear and my cat in the hat t-shirt. So comfortable, so casual, so much fun. This is my casual outfit for the sail away party and before we check in our room, we get our room at 1.30. If we go and get on the ship like at 11.30, then I could be casual for the two hours. Go get some guys burgers or go to the buffet line, get some food, funfetti cheesecake, my favorite, and I'll be casually dressed and I'll take a carry-on bag, of course, and I'll have my bathing suits in there. So if I decide to swim the first day before we leave the port at 3.30, when we sail away, I can be casual and comfortable. So this is my first outfit for my December cruise this year. My next outfit for day two on my carnival cruise is this cute little blue and white shirt. It's sleeveless, it's comfortable, it's cool. I chose another pair of Capri legging pants. And today, for the next day of the cruise, I'm wearing my slip-on Skechers sneakers because they're comfortable and they're easy to walk in. Because you know on a cruise, you'll be walking all over the place for sure on those decks, figuring out where you're going, what you're doing. This is a comfortable cotton. It's a cotton shirt. Wearing your Skechers so you can run around the ship, get to where you're going. It's comfortable, you know? That's why I picked this outfit for day two of the cruise. I forgot to show you my earrings, too. They are anchors. So cute. For day two of the cruise. The first day I had the anchors on also. You can find things like this on Amazon. You go to thrift stores. Half of Half store, the name brand store, and Walmart. I shop at Walmart and uh, Target, and I shop online and also thrift stores. You can find a lot of good things for a cruise in a thrift store, too. That's where I found my anchor earrings. On a cruise, you have elegant night. Fancy night, elegant night. So I chose a green dress because did I tell you it's a Christmas cruise? I chose green for Christmas this year. And the dress is a little big because I lost weight. So I purchased a nice black belt to wear because I love the lacy top of this dress. It's perfect. It has buttons down the side. My daughter found this dress online at one of the online shopping places that she goes she shops from. So we got this dress online. It's a cute green dress with a lacy top. And like I said, I lost some weight. So I purchased the belt. You can find belts anywhere. And it's very then form fitting and it fits. And I'm wearing my black Sunday shoes. The shoes that I usually wear to church. There are little heels, if you can see them, and they're comfortable to walk in 
it has that little wedge heel. They're not real high, so I won't be tripping all over the place. And when they do dance in the dining room, I could get up and dance with them. So this is my dress for the formal night. And I'm going to have a blast on the carnival cruise that I'm going on. And you want to take five outfits. One for formal night. They have one formal night on the five-day cruise. Did I mention it has these cool buttons up the side? For day three on the cruise, I got, I purchased this dress that's very freeing and twirly. And I call it my dolly dress because I wore it to a party that they were dressing like Dolly Parton. And this is the dress I wore for that party. And yeah, you don't have to buy all brand new clothing. I bought this last year and I can wear it for the cruise too. So this dress is comfortable. You can wear it over your bathing suit if you're going swimming. You can wear it on the deck. Wear shorts under it if you want to. I didn't on this showing you the dress. And of course, the flip-flops again. It's very comfortable for day three of the cruise. If you go into Cozumel, you can, we're going to Cozumel, so when you go into Cozumel, this will be comfortable to walk around in the streets. It's cooler, it's comfortable, and you can have a great time in this dress. For day three, this is the dress I got. I have for the cruise, and I forgot to show you my Santa Claus earrings. They're the coolest, aren't they? It's going to be so much fun on our five-day Christmas cruise. I'm showing you the outfits for the cruise. And I recommend two bathing suits, too. I'll show those at the end of the video. And uh, take them on in your carry-on so that you can do stuff on the deck until your room's ready at 1.30. For day four of the cruise, I have this cute black dress. It's the cutest little dress. And uh, it's casual, it's comfortable, and it has pockets. It's my favorite dress to wear when I need pockets for the day. You can always have pockets in a dress that makes it more comfortable. And I have on green legging pants, because I chose green for Christmas this year instead of red. I usually go with red, but I chose green this year. And of course, your flip-flops again are more comfortable to walk around the ship and to go places and to do things. It's casual, it's comfortable, and I purchased this hat too at TJ Maxx to wear with this, or with any outfit. I'll probably wear this the first day of the cruise too. And I put the ties on, I put these ties on so it wouldn't, you know on a cruise, if you've ever been one on a cruise, if you've ever been on a cruise, you need to have something to tie your hat down because of the windiness. It can get really windy on a cruise. So this is my outfit, outfit, outfit for day four on the five day cruise I'm going on with the flip flops and the little dress. You can wear this for evening too, but it's my day four outfit on my five day cruise. And I chose hoop earrings, cute little hoops. Also, in the evening, it can, get, it can get cool on the ship. If you're going up to watch a movie for movie night, it's good to have a pair of jeans. Jeans are versatile, and you can wear them with any shirt, but I chose this green top. Like I said, my color for this year is green, so I chose a green top to go with my jeans that I'm taking. These jeans are from Old Navy. <laughs> And the top, I think I got at Walmart, but I'm not sure. But you can shop all over the place. So for the evening, when it's cool up on the deck, and I have my black hoodie, I'll take that along with me, with my jeans. And of course, dogs are not allowed on cruises, so she'll be staying in a kennel here in Prattville, Alabama at the vet. But jeans are versatile, and you can wear them in the evening. 
You can wear jeans a couple times because that's just how it is. Jeans are comfortable. They are versatile. You can wear them with any top. This is the top I'm taking on the cruise. Five day cruise in December 2023. And the earrings I'm wearing with this outfit are just simple hoops. They're shimmery hoops. Perfect for a December cruise. Whoopsie. <laughs> and for the last day of the cruise, day five, the day we leave the ship, we embark. Embarkation is what they call it. I chose a simple shirt that I wear every Christmas. My youngest daughter bought me this shirt. So this is what I'm wearing to uh, leave the ship. It's my last day. And it is a Christmas cruise. So I'm wearing my Christmas Meowy Christmas shirt. It's a t-shirt. It's comfortable. I'm going to wear this on the last day of the cruise to embark. And of course the green again. Of course I have red here with the Meowy Christmas. So this is the last day outfit on the cruise. Comfortable. Wearing my flip-flops again, because they're comfortable. I can move around. You can move around freely in this outfit. And I chose a simple pair of earrings that my husband bought me at Epcot. They're cute little earrings. That's what I chose for day five. I'm going to show my bathing suits next. I, I suggest two bathing suits, so you can let one dry, hang it up, and let it dry. And then you'll have a dry one. So two bathing suits for a five-day cruise. The bathing suit I chose, the first one, because I suggest you take two, is a green bathing suit I got at Walmart. You can find nice things at Walmart. They had different bottoms. So, of course, the bottom was purchased separately. Just a little black skirt. And, of course, flip-flops at the pool. And then the green top is from Walmart. And I sewed a piece of black material in there because I didn't like how low it was right here. So I sewed in a black material to match the skirt. And this is my bathing suit. The first one I purchased for the cruise. And I also wore it to the beach already when we went to Delaware with my husband's best friend who was our um, best man in our wedding. I already wore this, but it still looks new, and it's a great, comfortable bathing suit to go swimming on a cruise at one of the pools on the ship. This is my first bathing suit, and I chose to wear simple pearl earrings with this bathing suit. My last bathing suit, the second one I'm taking, is this cute pink Barbie-style bathing suit. And my daughter found this at the Goodwill in Bentonville, Arkansas. My youngest daughter lives near there. And we went to a Goodwill and she found this at the Goodwill. It's a cute little comfortable bathing suit. And I'm going to enjoy my cruise wearing this to go swimming at the pool. And then for a suit cover to cover your suit, I purchased this on our first cruise and only cruise so far. I purchased this in Cozumel in January 2019. I went on my 40th wedding anniversary. And the, with this, it's a big scarf or cover up. What I do, I wore this down in Florida when we visited my husband's brother down there in Cypress Gardens area. I wore it to the pool at the campsite there. It's a cover. You just make a knot. And then slip it over your head. And there you go. It's a pool bathing suit or swimming suit. A lot of people say swimming suit. It's a very comfortable swimming suit cover. And of course, flip-flops again. I'm wearing flip-flops. They're the most comfortable thing for a cruise. And with this bathing suit, I chose a simple little diamond earring. And none of my earrings are expensive. They're actually very inexpensive. You don't want to take expensive jewelry on a cruise. You just don't want to. 
that she want to lock it in the safe all the time and then be concerned about it. I take very inexpensive, like most of my earrings were under $10. Find them at thrift stores, on sale in different stores that I shop. And for a cruise, really, all you need is three pairs of footwear. You need your flip-flops. You need a dress shoe for fancy night or formal night. And you need a sneaker. And I chose the Skecher sneakers that slip on. You don't have to tie them. That's all you need for a cruise is three pairs of shoes for a five-day cruise. Two bathing suits, two swimming suits, whatever you call them. Two pairs of swimming trunks if you're a guy. And uh, five outfits plus the formal wear for a formal night, your dress or nice pantsuit, whatever you're wearing for formal night. Now, a cruise is expensive. I don't have to tell any of you that. But we booked this cruise when the offer was, this is the lowest price we're going to offer you. And we chose to pay for it over a year. So we paid like $400 a month for a year to pay for the cruise. Now my daughter's going with and her kids. So the math, you can figure it out that it wasn't like break in the bank, but it's costly to go on a cruise. But remember on a cruise, you get all your food. Now there are some specialty dining restaurants you have to pay extra for. And if you choose to get lobster or um, steak, filet mignon, you're going to pay like 20 to $30 more, but you do get two entrees with that cruise price on your meal. And Guy's Burgers, the buffet, that, and some other restaurants are free, and ice cream until a certain hour, and pizza till a certain hour, and there's lemonade, and in the morning there's plenty of fruit juices, and coffee, and the, uh, the I guess it's not ice cream, it's frozen yogurt, but it's all delicious. I've only been on one cruise, but you can afford a cruise if you choose to like put, like have a down payment saved up whatever that would be for your cruise. It's under a thousand, the down payment. I think our down payment was $500. Then you pay so much a month to pay it off by the date they say. And you can book a cruise, I think up to two years before the cruise. I'm not sure about that, how you can do that, but you can afford a cruise. And if you are going on a cruise, that's wonderful. And I hope you're having a wonderful day and that you just keep singing and dancing.